Welcome back. Unity Extravaganza continues in the spotlight today. You got it. Unity. UT 202 BT. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Unity. UT202BT is a handheld 10,000 count True RMS digital clamp. Oh, 10,000 count. Now we are talking. And it does inrush current. Inrush current. It does oh, it on that. Wouldn't it be nice if this would have had Bluetooth as well? Well, it does, silly. Yes, it comes with Bluetooth. Man, what can you say? Like, this clamp is just loaded. With the clamp, we get our standard Unity test leads, as well as a thermal couple. It does do temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Get a pretty decent little carrying case. Probably wish there was a little bit more padding per se. It's kind of thin, but nonetheless, hey, it is a good place to store your clamp. And we get a little Unity manual. Gives us a quick overview, operating instructions, the basic lowdown. Clamp itself is very nice in the hand. Uh, it looks huge compared to the little uh, 210E, but it's not. It's not a big clamp. It, it, this is. It's a good size clamp. I think it's actually the perfect size. The jaws themselves are really easy to open. Have a, a nice diameter in terms of the width that you can get it to. I rate it up to 600 amps, and. Uh, Look at that. We have our ETL rating. And once again, we have those safety ratings, ETL and Intertech. Really, really great to see. Overall, very good quality, nice design. Um, probably a little bit more modern than your standard clamp as well, which is definitely a nice thing. And uh, yeah, the clamp head is just, you know, what can I say? It's, it's a clamp head, it's a big one, and it's gonna do the job. And so nicely tucked away on the side, we have our one touch hold as well as the flashlight. Speaking of flashlight, it's not the brightest out there. Definitely will do you in a pinch, but uh, it's not going to replace that uh, main flashlight you have. Overall, uh, quality-wise, really sweet. Once again, uh, Unity does a stand-up job. Oh, the display itself is a 10,000 count LCD liquid crystal display. A dual display as well for some features. Has that backlight button which is very nice not a lot of bleeding but of course uh it times out unfortunately after about 15 20 seconds Ugh. something else to notice about the meter is the fact that it's pretty heavy it's a heavy meter uh even the little 210e is you know got a little bit of heft for a tiny little thing but this is even uh more solid feel tactile so um if you drop this on your toes hope you're wearing safety boots Let's start off with that DC accuracy. 5.000 is what we want. 4.995 is what we get. Five counts out, uh, still in spec. And speaking of spec, according to the uh, manual, we have a 0.5% plus or minus three digits in the DC voltage range. Here's something I would love to see. Unity, I hope you are listening. I know you are. Um, a tilt stand. I know it's a clam meter, but dang, oh dang, you know, when we're doing our basic DC stuff, uh, our bench stuff, it'd be really nice to have a tilt stand, even though it's a clamp. Uh, I know it's weird, maybe I'm weird, but I would just, that would just be such a cool idea. So, tilt stand? What do you guys think? Uh, am I being a little too nuts? <sighs> and something I really like, the fact we don't need to use our temperature sensor if we just want ambient temperature, 69 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius. Good job, Unity. Alrighty, it is continuity time. Standard default test leads, three, two, one. It's latched, fairly loud, but not overly loud. And it's missing about every second one. So let's try the Pro Master, see what happens. Pro, Pro Masters. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Every single clickety click, awesome. One thing I did notice though is that LED at the top here does not illuminate in continuity mode. Oh, it does, it does illuminate. Oh wow, we just have to. Oh, it takes way too long though to light up, way too long, ah, too bad. Maximum output DBA in continuity. 71.8 decibels. Eh, it's not really that loud after all. 
Unfortunately, uh, one of the gripes I have with the 202 is the fact that, oh man, I hate to say it, but it doesn't do diode. It does not do diode. The little 210E here has a diode mode, but not so on our 202BT. No diode at all. No diode. Ah. Already capacitance mode. Once again, this has a 100 millifarad, 100,000 microfarad rating. Well, 99.9, .9, but come on. Let's see if this is actually going to do okay, it. Here we go. Come on, fingers crossed. Now we're, now we're in millifarad mode. Yes, 97.9 millifarad. We have a winner. Beauty. Quick look at resistance accuracy sitting at one mega ohm right now. Spot on, three mega ohm, six, 10 mega ohm. Looking fairly good, 100K, 300K, 600K, one mega ohm. Eh, it's definitely not the fastest. Try 30K. 60k 100k that's ah, okay that's definitely it. accurate though 100.1 ohm hey 100 ohm even better spot on sitting in ac volts right now coming in at 118.9 and the nice thing is we've got that dual display so we got that hertz frequency as well 60 hertz the top i've got that on hold so fairly close, 119.2 uh, compared to the 118.9 for the 202BT. You can see as well that the uh, 202BT has a more uh, multimeter style display. It, it's definitely, I think, a little easier to read when you're working. Here's that Unity software, the Bluetooth software, Unity Smart Measure. You can download it via the Google Play Store or on the iOS at the Apple uh, Store. Once you find that app, just make sure you do a search for Unity and if you put in the wrong thing, you'll be surprised how many other things are going to come up. No, Unity Smart Measure is what you want to look for. Once you get it, download it. It'll automatically connect to your clamp when you turn it on and away you go. Nice interface overall. Uh, pretty clean, easy on the eyes. Works on your phone or your tablet. And, uh, you know, this thing didn't have any bugs whatsoever to report. You can do graphing with it. Uh, really nice if you're taking long-term temperature uh, graphing, for instance. You want to see if there's any changes in the long term. Uh, yeah, you can save these as well. Uh, overall, just a very nice user interface. Um, uh, you know, you're limited in what you can do, but hey, you can do it remotely and it's bug-free. And I got to say, the software is overall, I give it about a B plus. Let's take a peek-a-boo at the current. Hey, I mean, come on, it's a current clamp. Gotta a look at current. Now, one thing though that, ah, uh, here we go again. Yeah, it does not do DC amps. I know, I'm sorry, it doesn't. AC amps only. Ah, oh, man, DC would have just been the nail on the something. But anyway, it doesn't do DC amps. Uh, okay, so we're gonna take a quick look here with our Uber Fantastic line splitter. Gonna hook it up to a blow dryer and just see what that uh, is pulling with the current clamp. Okay, I've got my trusty little blow dryer. <laughs> There's a story behind this blow dryer. Should I say? Well, you know, we got this way back when we were staying in Clearwater Beach a few years ago, uh, me and the wife. And yeah, um, I forgot to return it. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. So hooked up to that line splitter. I'm gonna turn it on first in low mode and we're gonna see what we are pulling in terms of AC amps. We are in AC amps right now. So there we are pulling in about, let's put the one touch hold. Wow, that's loud. 10.8 amp amps, and that was on high, I believe. Let's try the low setting. And on low, we're putting out about six amps. So just discrepancy of around four amps. And we have that nice uh, frequency at the top as well, 60 hertz. So big difference in the size of the clamp jaw, that's for sure. And I can tell you when it comes to uh, insertion, uh, the bigger, the better. You know what I mean? So a big clamp jaw over a small clam jaw definitely is going to make all the difference in the world it just makes things easier sometimes it's hard to get the little one into those tough to get places you know what i mean see can't even can't even do it oh you're in trouble now
Sure hope you're enjoying this Unity Review Week extravaganza, I like to call it. Man, oh man, I'm having a ball, having a blast. Thanks you, Unity, for sending in these meters for this awesome experience. Uh, and hey, thanks you guys for tuning in. So far, I've got mixed feelings on the Unity UT202BT. Um, I really have some positive things about it, and I got some not so positive, but uh, hey, Let's take a look now at the inside. And I think, at least I hope, it's gonna make me smile. You smile too. Hey, 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 hey. All right, there it is, naked and exposed for all its glory, teardown time. Let's start off actually with the opposite side of that PCB. Uh, there we go, no shielding. Um, interestingly enough though, uh, over here is the EA uh, E237212. That's a backlight LCD inverter board. Interesting. So uh, on the opposite side of the PCB like this, so hooked up with those uh, ribbon cable over here. Well, not a ribbon cable, but a uh, clip-on to the main PCB. And this is for the LED flashlight. So both connecting to the main PCB. Um, powered by two AA batteries, actually AAA batteries, sorry. Um, yeah, very nice. Nicely done. Good quality plastics. Again, Unity always does a stand-up job. job beautiful form and function here with those plastics high quality plastics always uh, being used already off to the main pcb and man check it out let's start off with the bottom of the pcb uh two split variety input jacks and check it out three mobs three ptcs for that input protection love it and here we are, nice and clear, the SDIC SD7502 from SD Micro. That does the TrueMS as well, the analog to digital, digital conversion, 24-bit uh, CPU. And just below that over here is, uh, boy, can I pronounce this? The Xiaohua from XHSC Semiconductors. That's a 48 megahertz ARM Cortex CPU. Beauty. Main oscillator at the top, some programmable headers for factory calibration and uh, bring it up again and check that out. So some pretty decent quality. Now this I like, good metal spring for those uh, trigger jaws. Um, do we have a metal inlay here? It doesn't look like it. We have a plastic surround. So over time, I'm not sure, you know, if that's gonna eventually give way or not. Really prefer to see metal on metal here because there's just so much stress, uh, especially if this gets uh, highly uh, used. Um, but anyway, it's good to see that metal spring for the trigger clamp. Main um, speaker over here, well, the only speaker. Here's a flex ribbon cable that also goes into the inside of the jaw itself. And uh, this is the connector board for the flashlight. All in all, really nice attention to detail here. Good quality, nice clean PCB. I don't see any flux. I don't see nothing that looks amiss. Uh, great job, Unity. Closing thoughts on the Unity UT202BT. Well, you know what? Ah, oh, I got mixed emotions on this one. First off, I gotta say this is a good quality multimeter. As always, a Unity just kills it, knocks it out of the park as of late in terms of overall build quality. Man, this thing rocks. What I'm not so impressed with is the fact that we don't have diode functionality on this clamp. Oh, geez, that is sorely missed. And, you know, honestly, like DC amps would have been such a bonus. Um, we're seeing it more and more in clamps and it definitely would have been nice to see on this one. That being said, this meter has a lot of functionality for the price. Um, that inrush current, uh, peak mode, and you know a bunch of other little bells and whistles that really kind of make up for the fact that you're losing a couple of other uh, good features. But at the end of the day, uh, give or take, it may or may not impress uh, overall, you. Overall, the functionality of this meter is good. I love what they've done with those touch buttons. I didn't miss, once again, not having a rotary selector switch. No, Unity really did a good job ergonomically with this meter. 10,000 counts, always a bonus. This one was hard to call in terms of stars, but I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. As long as you don't need those DC amps, hey, it should do you just fine. The Unity UT202BT gets a solid three out of five stars. Yeah, good job, Unity. Keep up the good work, man. You are impressing us left and right. Hope you're enjoying the Unity extravaganza. We have one more left. Stay tuned for that. Till the next one, keep on testing. <laughs>